So if this isn't the creepiest thing ever, um, I'm at a cemetery. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I wanted to film something kind of creepy, but also extremely awesome. So I thought I would take my story time and bring it on location in a creepy place. There is a statue over here that if you've ever watched Doctor Who and you know what a weeping angel looks like, I... It's there. It's behind the tree. It's fine. I'm fine. And today's story time is about the fact I think I'm a psychic. The first thing I want to talk about, I have to set up a foundation. So I've done a little bit of research and I'm going to let you know what the internet said. What is a psychic? Relating to or denoting faculties or phenomena that are apparently inexplicable by natural laws, especially involving telepathy or clairvoyance. I might die here, which would be very ironic. The Cambridge Dictionary defined it as having to do with the mind and emotions rather than the body. If a person is said to be psychic, the person's abilities or the nature of the experience or event cannot be explained by modern science. And then the Merriam-Webster Dictionary defined it as lying outside the sphere of physical science or knowledge. So you have feelings you can't explain. You have thoughts that don't make sense that there's no logical reason you'd have them. I'm putting it in my own words to make more sense, I guess. I also am a Christian. The idea is as Christians, we don't believe in psychics. But there are a lot of verses on prophecy, which Technically, I feel like the definitions for a psychic and verses that I found on prophecy are very similar. I believe that psychic, it was a word that was formed to put a label on this. Revelations itself is so far in the future or it could be tomorrow. We don't know, like to be honest. The verses I found on prophecy, basically it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and it's verses 4, 8, 9, and 10. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. For to one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the ability to distinguish spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. If you don't know what tongues is, there's a lot of different definitions for it. You could take it as languages. My mom has told me when I tell her about this, she will tell me, she's like, I think you might have the spiritual gift of discernment. And what discernment is? The ability to judge well, perception and the absence of judgment with a view to obtaining spiritual direction. And the Merriam-Webster dictionary defines it as the quality of being able to grasp and comprehend what is obscure. And I think that is so accurate. I think, basically I did all this research because I was very curious. I was like, is prophecy and discernment the same thing? That's what I wanted to find out. And there's a car coming. A lot of my stories are very personal, so I don't feel comfortable giving out details. It's important for you to know my first experience with it, which is a very personal topic, so I'm gonna kind of be very generic about it. Um, more scared of people than I am of ghosts. Accurate. I overheard an argument, and no one knew I was there. Like, I was like, they thought they were alone, basically. They weren't being specific about details. I think I just heard an animal get killed. I'm gonna hurry up and tell this story so I can leave. I don't like this place. <laughs> there was no reason for them to be vague about their argument, about the details of the argument, because they didn't know I was there. I knew what the problem was, and they never said specifically. About two months later, I found out I was, it was like confirmed. This is what the argument was about. I also like remember thinking, like I was not at all surprised because I knew. I didn't think anything of it, by the way. This was like my first experience with it and I didn't think anything of it until this other thing happened. This is the clearest example of me being a psychic, whatever you wanna call it. It was my 23rd birthday and I remember thinking this is one of my best birthdays. 
I went shopping the day before. All day, I was kind of like driving around, running a few errands, getting ready for my birthday dinner with my family. I remember having this very strange, uncomfortable feeling, and that really bothered me all day. I've been anxious this entire weekend. I keep feeling like something bad's gonna happen. Something bad is happening, but I don't know it. It was specific. It was about my car. Something bad's gonna happen to my car. I'm gonna get into a car accident. I'm gonna, like, it's gonna break down randomly all of a sudden. I was frustrated because I'm like, my, it's my birthday. I'm having, like, it's a good day. It's been a great weekend. Like, why am I freaking out? Why, why am I upset? Why do I think something bad's gonna happen? I told Candace, she's like, don't worry about it. Like, it'll be fine. Like, just be careful driving, obviously. And I went home, went to bed, woke up the next day, went to work. Everything's fine. Later that day, I took my mom to a doctor's appointment and we used her car. You need to stop calling, sir. As we're coming home, as we're coming home, my dad calls. He had backed his car into my car, wrecking the whole driver's side. I, t I texted Candace and I'm like, yo. And she was like, this is creeping me out that you knew that. So that changed everything for me. After that happened, I said, I am no longer ignoring these feelings. After that happened, I was like, yeah, I'm trusting myself. I'm trusting these feelings. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on. Recently, I have been applying for another job. I had an interview with a place that it would have been fine. It's a, it is a, per, it's a perfectly fine job. And I have my first interview and they are like, this sounds great, like let's go ahead and set up a second interview. And they schedule it. And sadly timing sucked for this whole process because my mom had surgery. I had to call and ask to move it to a different day. The night before that second interview, I remember just feeling so uncertain. I remember feeling like this isn't gonna work. I didn't know why. I kept thinking that it was because I felt like, oh, I'm gonna miss out on so much if I have to change to working like an evening schedule. But it was it was much more than that. I started doing what I do best and that is overanalyzing everything. So I started thinking, why do I feel this way? If I took this job, it would be like taking a step to the side. It wouldn't be taking a step forward like I need to do. Pursuing this job would be fine, but it wouldn't be what I needed. So I said, no more, I need to wait for the right job. Two days later, I get a call for an interview with a place that it would be full-time, would be benefits. I don't know if I'm gonna get the job. Even if I don't get this job, I feel like that whole experience showed me that trust your gut, there was something coming, you felt that, believe in it, relax. It's gonna work out the way it's supposed to. Don't settle. I hear music. At least that's not like creepy harp music or something. Like, I would skadoodle real quick if that happened. There is an angel grave statue thingy back there. I just see the wings. The hardest thing about being a psychic, <laughs> I'm just gonna go into it. You don't know if you are having a premonition or you're having an anxiety attack. I suffer from severe anxiety and I honestly, there's some things that I can't tell if I'm 100% sure about this going wrong because I can sense it or because I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm a psychic, but I do believe in gut feelings. I do believe in vibes and logic. <laughs> and I do think some people are more inclined, are more tapped into those frequencies. The toughest part about all of it is learning to understand them. I thought I heard a whisper. That is my experience with psychic abilities or discernment or prophecy. Or, I don't know. I do have to say it's on a very small scale. Like I'm not predicting the end of the world. I hope you guys enjoyed the creepy kind of atmosphere. It's overcast. I'm in a cemetery. I'm in public, which is just absolutely horrifying and I'm hearing things, which is great. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. And also, if you think 
that you are psychic or you have abilities like this, please let me know. We should start a support group. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, hang loose. Let me just show you guys the creepiest statue that ever existed. Is that not horrifying? Right there, that's the angel. Mm-hmm, creepy.